They say home is where you make it. Whether it's a simple hut by the beach, a floating home on the ocean, or even a treehouse, home can be anything that you want it to be. It is that one place where you come to rest and unwind after a stressful day. It's a place that you can share with your loved ones or escape from the crowds when you need to. While some of us have pretty traditional houses, some people out there have gotten very creative at making their homes and came up with ideas that are out of this world. Today we're going to be looking at 10 of those incredible houses you won't believe exist. We'll have a bit of everything when it comes to living spaces. Big and small, wide and narrow, above cliffs, and even underwater in one. Stay tuned all the way to the end and don't miss my number one pick. It's a house that I'm 100% sure you didn't know it exists. So, let's begin, shall we? Number 10. The House on the Rock When we think of houses surrounded by water, we either think of boats or island living. Well, the first unique house of this list is in the middle of the water, but it's standing on a rock. You can find it on the Drina River in Serbia. It got people's attention after being mentioned in big publications such as the Daily Mail and National Geographic. If you think that having a house on top of a rock is impressive enough, wait until you hear the story behind it. It all happened back in 1968 when a group of friends, tired of swimming against the current of the Drina River, decided to get some rest on top of the rock. They immediately got bothered by the rough surface of the rock and went back to the shore to bring back some boards on which they could lay on. Right after that, they decided to put the boards vertically and use them as cover. And just like that, this group of boys came up with the idea for a house on top of a rock. The house is now one of Serbia's most treasured places. It's a great spot to connect with nature, enjoying the river and the forest around. Number 9. The Carrot House I told you we have some narrow houses on this list. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to Carrot House, the narrowest house in the world. This space was created by Jacob Seseni, a Polish architect who claims this is the world's narrowest house with only 122 centimeters long at its widest point. And don't let the looks fool you, this house is narrow, but this attribute is what makes it so space efficient and interesting. According to Shizeni, all the furniture had to be perfectly customized and pushed to fit into this space. It's designed for one single inhabitant for someone who likes to work and stay at home. More specifically, this house is designed for traveling riders who need their own space. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. One flight of stairs takes you into the study room and bathroom, and a ladder leads you up to the bedroom. What else can a rider need, honestly? It's definitely narrow, but the architect definitely made it quite cozy and inviting. Who would have thought you could fit a house into such a small space? While the house was intended to stay up for just two years, it's already a Warsaw icon and a landmark on the tourist map for visitors of this Polish city. Number 8. The Hobbit House Alright, there are quite a number of Hobbit-inspired homes and hotels around the world. After all, the J.R.R. Tolkien saga really made an impact on society, and it only makes sense to bring these spaces to life. The Hobbit House I have on this list is the one in Wales. Because it's warm, eco-friendly, and most impressively, it only took four months, the help of family and friends, and less than $6,000 for the owner to make it. You can find this home on a hill, a bit secluded from the distractions of modern-day living. Simon Dale, the owner of this house, and his family made a home on this place to lead a more sustainable lifestyle. The framing of the house is made of oak fittings that the Dale family gathered. The walls and the foundations are made out of mud and stone, and also the house's insulation system is made out of straw bales that the family put on the walls, floor, and roof. Maybe I could get these guys to make a house for me. They make it sound so easy and cool. I mean, who wouldn't like to live in a place that's straight out of a movie? The house is powered by solar panels and the running water comes from a nearby spring. See, where the Dale family really took sustainability to a whole nother level here. Number 7. The Glass House how would you feel if instead of walls, you just had windows all around your room? I bet you'd have some privacy concerns, but let's be honest, you would benefit a lot from that natural light coming through. For a designer in Tokyo, this crazy idea turned into a reality when he built the glass house, also known as House N.A. As its name implies, this house is fully surrounded by glass instead of walls in a treehouse-like structure. There's a bit of climbing to do when it comes to accessing the rooms. Instead of going through doors, you go up and down the ladders to get to where you want to be. This three-floor building definitely sounds like the adult and modern version of a treehouse. If you walk by this neighborhood, there's no way you're going to miss it. I know Japanese houses are quite different in general when you compare them to other houses around the world, but this house definitely stands out. Number 6. Falling Water Sometimes when you go hiking, you come across places where you'd really like to set up a camp and stay for a while. 
Sometimes your obsession with that space becomes so big that you start wondering what it would be like to make a home in that spot. Something like this happened in Bear Run, Pennsylvania, where an architect built a house into an existing active waterfall. Perhaps you're a bit concerned or even angry to know that someone broke into such a pristine place to make a home, but don't get upset just yet. This house actually stands in harmony with its natural surroundings to the point where it's now considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It was built by architect Frank Lloyd Wright under the ownership of the Kaufman family. Prior to this house, the space was an abandoned summer camp where the Kaufmans would spend their holidays. They contacted Wright to give the place a new look after seeing the bad condition of the camp. Now this house hides in the forest and if you look closely, you might even think it's part of nature itself. The rocks in the area served as a foundation and the house was coated in earthy tones to make it blend with the foliage of trees around. The design of the house respected the already existing trees in an effort to show respect to nature. Today you can schedule a tour of the house, so you should definitely add it to your list of places to see if you ever want to make your way to Pennsylvania. Number 5. The Airplane House Apparently airplanes are not only good for flying across the ocean, but they also make for great living spaces. When an airplane reached the end of its flying days, it was brought to Costa Rica and was turned into a two-bedroom home with amazing ocean views and the lush tropical rainforest. After all, you can only expect to have a lot of windows by transforming the cabin of a Boeing into your bedroom. If you look inside this home, Bruce Campbell, who is the owner of this house, will tell you it's still a work in progress. Bruce says, jetliners can and should be transformed into wonderful homes. He spends six months on his Costa Rican home, while the other six months he spends them in Japan, where he also plans to transform another aircraft into another house. Well, best of luck to you, Bruce. It'd be really cool to see more airplane houses around the globe. Number 4. The Clock Tower House Next on this list, a house inside a clock tower in one of the most iconic cities in the United States, Brooklyn, New York. This 650 square meter penthouse is one of the most expensive houses ever sold in the whole Brooklyn borough in New York. It was first listed at $25 million back in 2010 when it was put in the market. The price slowly did come down and it was finally sold at $15 million. Through the clock, you can get a unique view of Manhattan, Brooklyn, and Queens, making it a very iconic spot for anyone who loves the Big Apple. I guess the owner of the house is never late to appointments. I mean, you can't be late when you live inside a clock, am I right? Number 3. The Flintstones House And once again, another house inspired by things you watch on the screen. The Flintstones House. I guess some of you are a bit too young to know about this show, but back in the old days, there was a cartoon and even some movies called The Flintstones. It followed the adventures of this peculiar family living in the Stone Age. If you haven't watched it, you should check it out. The show was quite a phenomenon to the point that some fans out there decided to build a house similar to the one the Flintstones had. You can find this residence in Hillsborough, California, and it was even declared a public nuisance and with such a unique look, there's no way you'll miss it if you ever drive by it. There are even some statues of dinosaurs outside paying homage to the Stone Age setting in which the Flintstones lived. In early 2019, some neighbors gathered and asked the dinosaurs to be removed. They believe this house doesn't fit in with the rest of the fancy houses in the neighborhood, and well, these people just have no taste then. However, these hoity-toity neighbors won't have an easy fight. Florence Fang, the owner of this place, will do whatever it takes to keep this house up, with dinosaurs included. Maybe it's time the neighbors embrace this gem and learn to say, Yabba Dabba Doo. And I feel old just by saying that phrase. Now it's time for the day's best pick. The picture I have today gives us the illusion of underwater living. After all, water can be very calming and inspiring and humans can never get enough of it, so why not live in it, am I right? I went and searched for some of the most amazing houses that are connected to water and I came across the Floating Seahorse. Number 2. The Floating Seahorse The Floating Seahorse is a floating home off the coast of Dubai. It's inside a group of man-made islands called Europe that are part of a bigger group called the World. Each of these islands are smaller versions of countries from around the globe. The Floating Seahorse is part of Great Britain. Anyone living in it can enjoy waking up to the sound of calming waves and get lost on ocean views that will take anyone's breath away. At the lower part, it'll feel like you're actually living underwater and even have some tea while looking at a very exotic marine environment. Who needs a garden or something like that when you can have a coral reef? Since the floating seahorse has proven to be a success in the market, there are more floating houses being made. I guess Dubai really took it one step further when it comes to the concept of houses. This technology will surely come in handy if the end of the world includes massive flooding. 
I saved the best for last, but first, I have a quick challenge that takes only 5 seconds to complete. If you can leave a like and subscribe within the next 5 seconds, you'll get 10 years of amazing luck. Just try it, it really works. Number 1. The Egg House I told you I'd show you houses you wouldn't believe exist, and here's one that's really going to blow up your mind. The Egg House in Beijing, China this odd piece of architecture was a man's response to China's rising real estate prices. When this man couldn't find an affordable home, he went out on the sidewalk and made this egg-shaped home. I mean, what else do you need for survival when you have a bed and a roof over you? And probably egg-shaped as well. He even has lights and books. Probably based on eggs. The most impressive thing that it only cost him $964 to make it and is powered by solar energy. That's actually a pretty good steal right there. This story really shows us that we can make a home wherever we want as long as we're committed to it, and we don't violate property values. And for you, what is the most impressive house on this list? Would you want to live on any of them? Let us know in the comments section down below. That's our video for today, everybody, and I will see you all next time. Later, everybody.